Say. Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim What is our amanat? Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim Amanat means what? What has been entrusted to us? What is it that has been entrusted to us? It depends on who you're following. If you are following um, nationalism, they say what has been entrusted to you is the nationalist ideologies of your country. It is most important. If you're following racism, they're saying it's race. If you're following capitalism, they say the amanat is for us to make as much money as possible, to continue this way. It depends on who you're following. And that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, uh, say this, keep us on the siratul mustaqim, the sirat, the way of those whom you have favored. Not those ones and not those other ones. So our amanat, if you're asking me, what is the trust that is given to me, to our jamaat, following our share? We have to look first, what is the amanat? Who are we following? We're following the Holy Prophet. What is the amanat that is given to him? Hmm. We're Naqshbandis, no? When Holy Prophet, when he left Mecca with Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, and they stopped over in the cave of Taur, which was out of the way for them. If their whole idea was to uh, go away from those ones who are running after them to kill them, it is the wrong move to make. So they went to the cave of Thaur because there was something there that was very important that had to happen. And it was in that cave that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then showed the Holy Prophet والسلام, the high station of his best friend, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq. Everything that is given to the Prophet, Prophet is saying, I pour it into the heart of Abu Bakr Siddiq. And that was a time when the first Naqshbandi Zikr was held in that cave. And there was a call for all the shaykhs from that time until the Day of Judgment, for all the spirits and the souls to come with all the murids to come. So we were all there, making that zikr. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed the Holy Prophet his, the ummat. The Holy Prophet looked and he was very happy because it was the biggest and it was most beautiful compared to all the earlier nations. And then while he was watching and he was feeling very happy, that Umar became black and became very ugly. And he started crying. And Allah then said, this is your amanat. This is your trust. This is your job. That Umar, you have to return them to me as pure and as beautiful as I created them. This is your work. And the Holy Prophet is saying, ya, Ras, ya Rabbi, I'm asking for your help. This is a great task that I cannot do by myself. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says, don't worry. This is what is given to you. All the Naqshbandi shaykhs, and in this order, and all the murids, they are there to help you now. To return the ummat into Allah's presence in the way that Allah has created in Ahsani Taqwim, in the most perfect form. Our Shaykh's mission, it is part of that. And his mission that he has taught us, knocking us wall to wall, washing us up, making us to go through so much hardship and understanding and a discipline, it is to clean us so that we will return to Allah clean and pure because that is the job of, that is the amanat of the prophets and the prophets are giving that to the Naqshbandi shaykhs to continue that. 
So in our work now is to clean ourselves. That is our work. That is the trust that's been given to us. And once we start cleaning, then other people, they may look and they say, I like this what you're doing. You're making yourself to be clean. I want to be clean too. That time you may say, but I'm not completely clean. I cannot help you. Don't worry. We bring him to our shaykh. And if you cannot have access to your shaykh, and your shaykh that time may say, don't worry. Although you are not 100%, it doesn't matter. Now, as long as you are now going to submit, you're going to stay connected, even if you're not clean, we're going to use you as a tool to help others to find that, that cleanliness, that purity too. Which is why well, the secret of the Nakshabandi order, it is not Wilayat, it is Nubuat. And Nubuat means what is the job, the greatest job of the prophets? What is the greatest miracle? of the prophets, it is not to show their miracles, but it is to change, turn the hearts of their nation back to Allah. Because every prophet is sent to do that. May Allah accept it, inshallah. Al-Fatiha. <laughs>